Well, Basil, it's quite the best thing you've done. You'll be the talk of the town, both of you. Speak up, boy, you'll hurt his feelings. Basil, I think, has a, a rather uh, a pure delight in, in Dorian, and it's the initial purity and, and sheer aesthetic beauty of Dorian which, which makes him want to capture that on, on canvas. Um, Henry's fascinated with it in a different way. He wants to mess with it. He wants to disrupt it. He does it, I think, he does it initially just to tease Basil and to provoke him with his, this newfound joy of his. But as time goes on, for all sorts of rather mm, tangled motives, he wants to break it down. He wants to see this phenomenon of, 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 of beauty um, tarnished in some way. All that hocus pocus, endless conjurations, books bound in infant skin, pentacles of fire, drinking the blood of virgins. Dorian wouldn't really barter his soul. Dorian. Would you? Yes. You know, he destroys Dorian completely, really. I mean, I, you know, he, he's, he doesn't see that to its conclusion because Dorian, he sets Dorian off on a path where he'll destroy himself. But it's definitely Henry that um, initiates that process. And I think there must be some bitterness of the world, there's some kind of rancor in the character to, to, to make him want to do that. And I, I think it's, in a way, I think it's self-destruction by proxy. <laughs>